conditions that you all are faced with when we do have a tremendous amount of rain that comes into our system. But I also know that Comoros is discharging over 40 million gallons a day into Lake Sampson, and I'm concerned about the nutrient pollution discharge elimination system permit that they do have, and they have that permit because they are polluting. They're a polluting company. It's one reason to have an NPDES permit. So I'm concerned that it's almost like a mini Lake Okeechobee, where you are cleaning out a waterway to have another body of water receiving that polluted water, and then another body of water. So it goes into Alligator Creek, goes into the New River, and then it ends up in the Santa Fe River. I live on the Santa Fe River. My livelihood is from the Santa Fe River. I have a tourism industry that supports itself for the clean water. So I just want you to know on record that I'm very concerned about any abatement projects that you do in Stark as a, as a person downstream. That's where I want to rest that. And also I-75 needs to also be considered. We're seeing flooding on the Santa Fe River that we have never seen before in the last five years on record. And maybe some of it is associated with Comores. I'm not sure. I'd like to see more research on that, but I know that you all are getting ready to uh, vote on that um, resolution. I think it's a, a, a declaration today. I'd also like to know, and again, it's off the agenda. If I was on agenda, I'd have more to say, but um, are other counties involved with the memorandum of understanding over this project? Like I wrote a letter to Columbia County, which is where I live, and I wanted to know if they even knew about it. I, I would almost venture to say they don't. So I-75 is in their county. I-75 is what flooded after Irma, or near, near flooded, nearly shut down a, a, a transportation <coughs> corridor. So I just want to be on record that I'm very concerned about any abatement that we're seeing up in the Stark region. Thank you. Ms. Malowitz. 